Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain Steve, and today, chums, got myself a brew. And what am I talking about? PlayStation VR 2. Yes, rhyming. Brilliant. That's a good way to start the morning, isn't it? But I haven't got my hat on today. Yes, anyhow. Lovely jubbly. So as you all know, I want to purchase a Kate, um, the PlayStation VR 2. Not that they're in abundance at the moment, so they're pretty hard to get your beady little hands on anyway. But um, yeah, there are other things where I'm thinking, well, maybe it's for the best at the moment. Because there's, there's things that I'm not 100% sure on with PlayStation VR 2. So let me just jump on over onto my reaction camera, people, on the side of the view of us. Boom! Here I am over on the YouTubes. And Scottish Rod has done a review of PlayStation VR 2 and No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky is going to be the main game that I purchase, okay? Kate. Now, inside of this video, Rod goes into great detail on what, what it's like playing in PlayStation VR 2. And although that it's quite a visual pleasure for the eye peepers, he does go on to say towards the end of this video that it hasn't got the fovic rendering or whatever it is. So wherever you look, it makes the periphery sort of blurry like in real life your peripheral view and that sort of helps with the motion sickness and he also points out something here inside of the stations as well with the actual menus and things that pop up when you talk to individuals when you talk to npcs i'll play you a little bit of his video because it's freaking awesome the detail is there it's still a little bit blurry and if i'm honest i don't think it would take much to take that beyond flat mode but my biggest gripe is the interface with npcs the pop-up menus are all over the place, and I'm sorry to bring this up if you haven't noticed, because you're going to notice now. <laughs> Some are just simply too close to you, while others are perfectly fine. Story so as you can see there, some of the menus are a little bit janky, a little bit broken. The same with the actual menus that you get inside of the Nexus. I know that's not a massive reason not to sort of pick up No Man's Sky or be hesitant about doing so, but there are other things as well, like here where he goes to a large refiner. For the refiners, if you stand too close, you can't interact with the menu. So you have to step away for them to work correctly. I find that rather weird. Right, it's a normally time, so let's go. But you can see the colour of that large refiner as well. It just doesn't feel right. Some of the actual textures haven't popped in. And there's just little things like that that I think within, say, about two months or so, Hello Games would have got to the nitty gritty and managed to fix all of those sort of issues. At least I hope they bottom them out in a few months or so. But not only that, because No Man's Sky is one of the only titles that I'm really vested in or interested in right now on PlayStation VR 2, there's not much that I'm going to be doing. Oh, I do like Gran Turismo, though. Yeah, but then I'll show you something over on the store in a minute uh, around Gran Turismo, because, yeah, it's a bit of an oddity, but we'll get to that in a moment. There were two games that were suggested to be coming to PlayStation VR 2 at launch that sadly didn't make it to PlayStation VR 2 at launch that had me extremely excited for PlayStation VR 2. I'm going to play you trailers for both of those. The first one is called Lo-Fi, where you take on the role of a police officer in a dystopian sort of cyberpunk universe, almost like Robocop. So here you go, hit play on that. Precinct 303. Should be a good fit. Most of the blocks jacked in or too strung out to make trouble. Minor gang activity, some triad, crypto punks, AI rights activists. I'm sure you'll find ways to keep busy. Just try to keep your nose clean. I know it's tough. Nothing stays clean for long.
Okay, now there was so much inside of that one trailer that's got me excited. It, it's hard to know where to start. I mean, there was one of the flying cars that looked like a DeLorean, and he's flying past a giant great big Atari sign at one, at one stage. So it's got a lot of 80s nods, the era that I grew up in and love. <laughs> so yeah, very, very interested in seeing more about that title. The only thing is, is it was suggested to be a PlayStation VR 2 launch title. When you go over to their website, there's even sort of statements that they were aiming for that window. It hasn't happened. And when you watch the latest sort of PC gameplay of it, it still doesn't feel as polished or as nice looking as the actual trailer. I mean, it's near enough, but yeah, it... Mm. Anyway, go check it out. Do your own sort of homework on it and see what you think. Another title is called Hubris, which is another sort of sci-fi sort of jaunt, which kind of looks a little bit like some nautical in a roundabout way. You crash land on an alien planet and stuff. Anyways, let's um, let's pick it up. But it's got it's got some of like I th I feel a couple of nods towards the like of Star Citizen with trains and things. Anyway, I'll play the trailer. I'll play the trailer and you can see what I mean. But I'm really excited for this too. Remember, Recruit, you're part of the Triple O now, under the wings of the mightiest fleet the galaxy has ever seen. But here, within the Twin Planet system, you're on your own. Let's hope those terraformers don't wake up before I finish the job, so I can pick you all up. Assuming you find Agent Cyana, and she's still alive. Okay, now, it kind of looks like it's a, a medley of a lot of the sci-fi games that you know, you, you've probably played and love. You know, No Man's Sky with a little bit of you know, Star Citizen thrown in and you know, little nods to other sorts of games. So, yeah, very excited for that too. But that's, that might not be coming to PlayStation VR 2 until probably later in the year, probably well after when I can actually get back from the Philippines and pick up a VR sort of unit. So yeah, but that's that's got my eye peepers interested. It really has. And like I say, No Man's Sky is a title that I've got my eyes on as well, but mm, I get a free update of that. So, you know, I'm going to get that anyway. Now, looking inside of the actual PlayStation VR 2 launch titles, there are demos up here, which is pretty darn sweet. So you can check out a couple of demos. That's pretty nice. So anybody that's got PlayStation VR 2, if you're looking for something to just hit up and try, you can try the free demo of Star Wars. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, there's a couple of others there, too. It's a little bit odd that that one's in there. It's $15.99 for a bloody demo. <laughs> but then again, saying that, $59.99 for that one. Where's the demo on that then? Oh, download trial. Okay, I don't know whether I get that because I'm a PlayStation Premium member or something. Yeah, if I back out of there. Now, the odd thing is, I've already bought Gran Turismo 7. So technically, I should get that as a free upgrade. Or at least that's what I thought was going to happen. But apparently not. And 70 quid. But the whole game is in VR. But... I thought I would have got a free upgrade to that one. Oddities, yes, I have on the old No Man's Sky. You can see that it always says in library, which is great. Now, I have been watching a few reviews, and a game that took me by surprise is just how cool Kayak VR is, and the actual reviews that it's getting, and how great it looks. So let's just hit play on this, I'll show you this one.
That does look pretty good fun, but it's more about the atmosphere around you and the whole sort of, you know, the immersion level inside of that kayak game. Also, because it's just simple sort of controls, I think that's the sort of game you can just throw on. And, you know, for somebody that's visiting your home that's never played VR before, I think that's a very good title to just show off the actual VR unit and its capabilities. And it is under £20 on the store. Anyway, I'm going to jump back on over to Scottish Rod's video and you can just listen to him sort of summarizing his review. But what I would say is jump on over and watch his full review because it goes into how to dial in your settings and how to get the best experience possible. But it's interesting how he ends off this video. I will be covering more No Man's Sky PSVR 2 stuff and will update my reviews when I learn more and experience more. As for now, I am loving it, and I really do hope Halo Games implements some of the missing features as soon as possible. For those that have VR but not No Man's Sky, it is a great game to add to your collection. But don't worry, there is no rush, it will get better. And for those people that haven't got VR yet but love No Man's Sky, this isn't a you can't live without it moment. But when you hear they added forvated rendering, that will be the moment. In fact, those are the only two words that Sean should hear for the next few months. That and eye tracking, just to double down on the point. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later. So the last words to sort of Hello Games and Sean Murray is the Fovatic rendering or whatever it is, and also the eye tracking. So the way that works is the way the PlayStation VR can track your eyeballs inside of the helmet. So where you look, it renders the centermost points. And then it's got like a field around the outside that it just sort of doesn't render as deeply. So it's almost like optimization based on where you're looking. And apparently No Man's Sky hasn't got that. And because it hasn't got that, it does give you a little bit of motion sickness when you're flying your ship. But not only that, is the visual quality isn't to the same standard as some of the games that have got that level of um the fovatic rendering and eye tracking so i'm hoping by the time i pick up vr i'm hoping hello games has found a way to implement that so i get the nice sharpest possible experience possible yeah i mean the reason i'm excited to play no man's sky in vr is when i had it on vr1 you could actually put your body space in there so you can see your actual you know your, your suit but not only that, if you turn your head to the side, you can see the little exodroid moving from side to side. And I did a PlayStation VR adventure on my old PlayStation VR 1 setup. I put it up there. You can go hit that up and watch that. But that's the sort of thing that I'm hoping to bring to my channel once I do get PlayStation VR 2. Now, if you're out there in the view of us and you've picked up PlayStation VR 2, and for whatever reason you're not getting on with it and you're looking to offload it somewhere, Hit me up, let me know, um, because yeah, I've been looking in CEX, I've been looking on eBay, and at the moment I'm not finding it locally in CEX, and on eBay it looks like scalpers have got their hands on a lot of units and they're bumping the price up way too high for me to even think about, but even if you have got a VR setup and you want to part with it, I'm probably not going to be able to um, <laughs> actually buy it off you until I arrive back from the Philippines towards the end of April. But yeah, there we go, people in the view of us. Um, I'm going to be signing off now. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I've got for you. The titles that I'm interested in that for VR that haven't come over to PlayStation VR yet, VR 2 yet. But I do like the look of that kayak game. <laughs> it looks really cool. I do like Gran Turismo. I do want to get that, even though it's quite pricey. I'm going to hit that to a wish list and wait for it to hit a sale which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon, let's face it.
it. And uh, yeah, No Man's Sky. But No Man's Sky will be on my channel from day one. And I'm hoping to do one of those adventures like I put in the top corner. So anyway, people, I hope you had a good morning. I've um, drunk all my tea. I've drunk all my tea during one of those trailers. I need to go get a fresh brew in my mug. Heck yes, I do. Yeah. Until next time, people. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.